Welcome back. The time now is 613 on this Tuesday morning. We're calling all bookworms today. We're joined by friend of the morning show, Chris Warren from the Dothan Houston County Library. And we're beating this heat today with a classic choice, The Winter of Our Discontent by John Steinbeck. Chris, good morning. Thanks for being here with us as always. Tell us a little bit about this month's pick. Morning, Caroline. Thanks for uh, letting us be here. Yeah. So uh, like you said, we were trying to pick something to kind of beat the heat. I thought winter uh, or a book with the word winter in the title might be pretty yeah. appropriate. Unfortunately, this book takes place around Good Friday and Easter time, so it's more spring. Uh, the title's actually from, from William Shakespeare. Uh, but it is a book that stayed with me, as we were talking before we came on the air. It is a book that I read when I was in high school in my 12th grade lit class, and it's stuck with me forever. So our pick for this month is The Winter of Our Discontent by John Steinbeck. Yeah, we were talking about how sometimes those books just really stick with you mm -hmm. that you had to read in high school. And Steinbeck, as we were talking about, is one that ends up on a lot of reading lists. Mm -hmm. But he can be a little bit intimidating. Why do you think this is a good one to kind of get people into his work? This is one that it's, you know, I think a lot of us have read of Mice and Men. I think a lot of us have heard of books like The Grapes of Wrath or East of Eden. This is one that I think is pretty accessible as far as Steinbeck's works go. It was published in 1961. It was one of the last books, or was the last book published during his lifetime. And it follows a, a man named Ethan Allen Hawley, who fam whose family used to be in the aristocratic class. Uh, uh, his dad lost the family fortune, and now he works in a grocery store as a, as a clerk in a store that he, his family used to own. And the, the point of the story is that his family, his, his very loving, very wonderful family, kind of resents the fact that they're in this lower socioeconomic class, even though Ethan is very honest, very hardworking, and very ethical. But that kind of starts to get to him after a while, and he starts to make some choices that are kind of questionable. Uh, he starts to really violate his own, his own ethics and his own, his own uh, honor. And so the book kind of follows where he goes with all of that. A lot of those trials and tribulations, and especially that family drama, I think are concepts that a lot of people can relate to and grab onto. So it seems like that would make this a little bit easier to follow through with. What are some of the other themes that you see popping out in this book? Uh, well, a lot of what Steinbeck writes about is about America. And so when you think about some of the, the not so great chapters in American history. Steinbeck's really, really uh, trying to reflect a lot of that. On top of that, I mean, like you were just saying, a lot of those themes about honor and ethics and trying to be true to those around you and trying to be true to yourself, those are things that I think a lot of us can really relate to. I'll also say, just as it's written, the dialogue is sharp. Uh, actually, there's a passage, I believe it's the third chapter, four or five paragraphs that describe sleep. I think it's some of the most beautiful, pass one of the most beautiful passages written in, in American literature. So if you just want to flip ahead to chapter three and read a few paragraphs from there, you can do that too. You've got me sold on this one already. And of course, you know, we can pick this up at one of the branches mm -hmm. of the Dothan Houston County Library, but I have to brag on them. Libby has become my most <laughs> favorite app on my phone. Tell everybody about what Libby is. Sure. So Libby is a an app uh, that you can, uh, you can put on your, your phone or your mobile device and you can download ebooks through the Dothan Houston County Library System. Uh, you, all you need is a library card and you'll be able to search our catalog. We're actually part of a consortium with three other libraries, so we share our resources uh, and you can borrow from, from their collections and they can borrow from ours. Uh, but it, and we will have digital copies of this available in Libby as well as physical copies at all of our locations. So no excuses. It's so easy to get your hands <laughs> on. Libby has changed my life. I love it. Great. Chris, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, Caroline.